I'm sorry, Powder. I never meant to leave you. I spent so many nights in that shitty prison on that freezing floor, hungry, bloody, counting the hours. The only thing that kept me going was the thought of getting back to you. I thought maybe you could love me like you used to. Even though I'm different. With respect, I don't give a shit what any of you think of me anymore. Except you. You were always right. I'm not fit to govern the people who live there. Silco. He believes the Undercity should be independent. He calls it the Nation of Zorn. There are good people down there. Vi, she's too far gone. What about us? I can fix this. Power. Real power doesn't come to those who were born strongest, or fastest, or smartest. No, it comes to those who will do anything to achieve it. There's a monster inside all of us. If we shut down the Hex Gates, the city will suffer. Perhaps the time has come to explore a more radical solution. Mr. Talus has demonstrated his commitment to our safety. He's willing to sacrifice his own enterprise. It's Victor. I simply believed in myself. Which is why I'm here. Because I think you're onto something. Yes, well, I wanted to talk about your work. This Hextech theory. When you're going to change the world, don't ask for permission. I know you want to hurt the topsiders for what they've done to us. But who are you willing to lose? I led us across this bridge, thinking things could change. If I hadn't, your parents would still be alive. Nobody wins in war, Vi. That was a long time ago. People change, but because she wants to. I'm sorry, but that's who she is now. I got one more thing to show you the price of our freedom. We could beat Silco with this. One condition. I'm the one who gives it to them. You know you can't make a prototype without breaking a few wrenches. <laughs> you don't understand what's at stake. But how can you? That's a burden that only I here carry. Time. That cannot happen here, my boy. It must not. A lesser sentence may suffice. But he is never to set foot on Academy grounds again. I could have handled those brats. She's a problem and we all know it. Keeping her? You mean Jinx? She works for him. She's like his daughter. I'll give her your regards. Not for a worm like him. You people down here are all the same. Mistaking arrogance for bravery. You think you're standing up for something? But we all know there is a crime behind every coin that passes through this place. Oh, that's tidy for you. What if I'm not interested in playing along? A good woman. She was doing what she thought was right. We were so worried. Thank goodness you're safe. Never seen this much shimmer before. I'll schedule an audience. You and your friend can address the council yourselves. I'd suggest you prepare accordingly. And one day, I'm gonna shoot one of them down. Working on it. Seeing as I'm the only one who knows how to pick locks, I'd suggest... <laughs> Animals. Every time. Every time she comes, something goes wrong. She jinxes every job. We don't want any trouble, okay? Couldn't we have at least just walked there? What if Vander finds out we're all the way up here? Vander's gonna kill us. Wait, Vi, how the hell did we find this place? Trouble finds you. There's no reason this has to get ugly. Someone, uh, someone really kicked the nest, huh? They're monsters. No. No, no, it'll kill me. Your attitude makes me question if your best is up to the task. And I bought you some ginkgo nuts. For good. You can take your worthless junk elsewhere. Why are you mucking about with this? Vanda and I need a word. Looking to write their own stories. You can't protect them forever. I suppose it does. And this <laughs> isn't what we agreed on, so we, um, we shook on it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't do that. I can't do that. Cool off a bit. A building was blown to bits. What do you think? People need to feel safe. Give me a name. We'll do things quiet. No one will know you were involved. Don't you think we've pushed them hard enough? I believe I can save her. 
but the process would be demanding. Are you prepared to lose her? I too once had a daughter. I thought you understood. The mutation must survive. Piltover was founded to escape the warmongering of mages, not cultivate it. Arcane talents are something you're born with. They can't be fabricated. This is vile! You don't seem to listen. Piss off. I expected something younger. Make your choice. Suppose that concludes our business, then. This is the new value. It's a fair price. I think you should take it. We were just negotiating. Leave us. Don't you know I'm allergic? What are you trying to do? Kill an old man? Magic! Is this the sort of contribution? Magic has the people afraid. The culprits must be apprehended. Harold! Oh, oh. oh Counselor Madonna, you, you nearly scared me to death. You're a scary lady. Sevika is out in the harbor. Oh, Sevika paid the knuckleheads a visit. I thought now here's the man who understands what it takes to run an enterprise. The attitude. The instinct, the eye, the whole package you were. Always two steps ahead. Your mother would be proud. The golden boy. <laughs> He's one Piltover's heart. Oh, speak of the devil. I sent you here to oversee our family's interests and grow yourself, which you have. You've let the problems of your undercity fester too long. It's a fact. We need that weapon, Mel. I would set the world ablaze to protect our family. The necessary decisions to keep us safe. A few tried. But Silk has got the muscle and the money. We took over the last drop without Vander looking out for us. I can have Miguel tell you where to find her. Again? You know, there's always tomorrow, right? Are you headed home soon? I thought we could walk together. <laughs> 